G'day there, you're watching the Aussie BIM Guru. Today I've got a quick little tutorial, actually a bit of a fun one, um, where we're going to take an object in a model that contains a URL parameter and we're going to open this using Dynamo. So we're going to build a tool that users can use to quickly access this parameter and open a web link. So in this case I am going to be using my custom package Crumple uh, just to access one specific node which can open URLs. Otherwise I'm fairly straightforward and we'll learn a little bit, a bit about user interface development as well. Anyway, let's jump in. So for the script to work, obviously the object will need a valid URL in the first place. Um, I've taken a handful of fixtures in this model and applied a URL to them. So if I go to the type properties of the element, I can see that I've specified a particular link um, in the URL parameter. And in this case, if I follow this to the internet, I should hopefully find a matching product. So the goal of the script is to take this value, open up the link um, using Dynamo Player and report on whether a valid URL was found. It can be a handy little tool just for users to quickly inspect the specification data on objects in their model um, and a little just tool off to the side they can use when they need to. Obviously the user can go here, copy the link, put it in Google or whatever search engine they use, um, but it's you know quite a slow process obviously. So we're going to begin by going into Dynamo itself. And I'm just going to start a new script. Um, as well as this, I'm just going to quickly just check my reference because I do have a reference script I'm following here just to make sure I get every step in the process. It's a relatively straightforward script, um, but we're going to build a little bit of user interface as we go as well. Um, the first thing we actually need to do is just select a model element in the first place. So let's just set this to a input as well for Dynamo Player. And I'm just going to initially pick an element that doesn't have a URL because we are going to need to handle the scenario when the user picks an element without a valid URL. We don't want to go sending uh, an empty URL to Google or something like that because it doesn't really give a handy outcome. Now at the moment we're looking at the instance of the element. We need to actually look at the type in this case. So I am firstly going to get the type of the element. If I just use the element.parameters node, I can inspect in this case what parameter I need. So if I go down to type, I can see that my type is sitting under the parameter called type. So I'm going to get an element get parameter value by name node. And my parameter name, as I saw, is going to be type. I can now see that I have the type as an element with an ID. From here, I can actually just go and treat this um, as, as a type. So now I can get the parameter value for URL. So it's two steps in order to get to that point. Um, it's up to you how you lay this part out. Sometimes I can you know, use two, two code blocks and do something like that, um, just to save using one extra node. Now in this case, notice our URL is empty. It doesn't exist. Um, sometimes as well, certain elements in Dynamo don't even have a type or a URL, so we might be triggering an error. Um, let's say instead of an element, I pick something like a grid. Um, which is going to be a problematic outcome. Now, in this case, it's going to have a type and it's not going to have a URL parameter. So in most cases, this is going to be empty if it has no URL. Um, I believe there's some scenarios under which it might even trigger an error for an element that maybe doesn't even contain a type. So what I'm going to do is build two conditions. First, I'm going to check, is this an empty string? So I'm going to say in this case, and I'm just going to go to full, full screen mode, I'm going to say, is X equal to double apostrophe? And this is just saying, is this output? Um, and in this case, I have to do double equals because it's a condition. I'm just saying, is this an empty string? And in most cases, when it's an error, it will be. I'm also going to check if this is ever a null value. So I'm going to use the is null node to detect that. And sure enough, we can see it's false at the moment. But if this ever did trigger a null, we'd also get a true on that. So for this point, I want to check if either of these conditions are satisfied, then we know we've triggered an error. So I'm going to use in this case an OR node in order to check one or the other. So I can use pretty much either one of these. I'm just going to use the standard OR condition. I can see at the moment it's true because at least one of the inputs is true. So in this case, we know we've hit the point of an error. So I am going to move these just down out of the way a little bit. And I'm going to get, in this case, an IF node. Now, the, the node that I'm targeting, if I search for URL, um, in this case, open URL, is we're, we're targeting not only a URL, but also in this case, a run me condition. So without this, the URL won't be opened. So in the case that we have an error, we can just tell it not to open. So I'm gonna say in this case, my test here is, are we opening? Now I can probably actually go one step further than that and just use a not gate to turn this around to a false. So I'm just gonna use a not node 
so that when it's true, we're going to say we don't want to run the URL open. So I'm going to go manual mode. I'm going to say run me is false. In either case, the URL that we're targeting is going to come from here. So at that point, we've really set up our script, um, but we're going to add just a little bit of user interface here as well. First of all, I'm going to make a watch node so that in Dynamo Player, we can see what the URL actually was. So I'm going to set this to an output. I'm just going to say this is the target URL. I'm also going to create just a message to say whether an error was triggered. I'm going to say if, and in this case, I'm just going to say, um, in this case, the if condition is based on this. And we know that if we hit a true condition, then the script failed. So in this case, we can say that our message we're going to send through to our user output is going to be a URL or valid URL not found. And otherwise we can say URL found and opened. And depending on the outcome, we're going to see a different message. So at the moment, we should see valid URL not found. I can then make this an output as well as a watch node. And I can just call this outcome. Now, if I run this, first of all, there's going to be no URL. And we're going to say that a valid URL was not found. If I target an element that does have a URL that is valid, say I select uh, my bath, and I run this instead, it's going to open a URL. It's going to take me to that URL, which in this case is the product spec. It's also in this case going to register a valid URL. And it's also just going to tell me that the URL has been found and opened. I can now save this as a script. And I'll just say that this is the, uh, I'll just say open URL of element. And we're going to open this in Dynamo Player instead. So I'm just going to navigate to the folder where I'm keeping the script on my desktop. And I'm going to open its inputs. We should see the input for the selecting of a model element and also the two outputs. And there they are. So let's select in this case something without a URL, such as a bed, and run. And we can see in this case a valid URL hasn't been found. Let's select something that does have a URL, such as the toilet, run. We can see our properties are found. And there we go. We're now on the spec page for that URL. So it's just a handy little tool you can use to really quickly just inspect product details. Now, in this case, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to select certain elements, unfortunately. So like this element here, for example, is nested inside a model group. So in this case, if I do an isolate, see, it's still still a model group. So some of the elements I've found are a little bit difficult to target, unfortunately. Um, but if they are loosely placed, um, they are quite straightforward to pick up. In this case, no URL, go to what path, URL. So assuming that they're in a selectable format, um, it's really easy just to grab them and shoot off to the URL link. So hopefully that's an interesting little script um, and also teaches a little bit about user interface development as well in Dynamo Player. So hopefully that was a fun little script and taught you a little bit more about how you can get data out of elements like their type and then also data out of their types as well. It also might have taught a few of you about Dynamo Player and how you can generate output messages using some stream logic like if nodes. Anyway, um, if you're not already following and subscribing, uh, feel free to do so, and I look forward to seeing you in future similar videos. Thanks. Take care. Bye.